What's up guys, it's PokeOBG with, I guess technically, the second part of Pokemon Randomizer How-To. Uh, because the first part was for Pokemon DS games, and in this one we will be working on Pokemon 3DS games. Which uh, makes a difference, requires different randomizers, different emulators, and uh, everything of the sort. Uh, before I go ahead and continue, I am streaming on Kick now. Everything Pokemon wise, all the videos, all the playthroughs will be done over there. If you want to be part of the community and even like, you know, make suggestions in what Pokemon we're using or fusing or anything like that of the sort, make sure you guys check me out there. Link in the description. I would appreciate it. You know, leave me a follow over there. Also, subscribe here, Road to YouTube Partner. Uh, but yeah, let's go ahead and continue with. Pokemon Randomizers on the 3DS. Okay, so big thing I do want to go ahead and let you guys know. I just went ahead and uploaded, first off, the emulator into my Mediafire account, which is Citra Nightly. That's the name of the emulator for 3DS games. And the randomizer for 3DS games as well. That's why they're at zero downloads. I just uploaded them. I never made a video on the 3DS uh, randomizers, unfortunately, so... This will be my first time making this specific video. If you do need DS games, like I said, I've got the files for uh, the emulator there and the randomizer for those as well. Different video, go check out my channel for that one. I'll link it somewhere uh, in the cards or something like that as well. But for today, like I said, the links for those two will be in the description uh, via my own personal files on Mediafire, easy downloads. As for the ROMs, you'll be using this website. It's called hexrom.com. I know some some people, you know, get a little bit sketchy when it comes to things like this. I've done it myself. I've had zero issues with my PC. No viruses, no nothing like that. And I also stream. So, you know, it's important that I don't get these issues because I need my computer to be running smoothly for YouTube videos and to be able to stream on kick and stuff like that. So in this case, we're going to go ahead and do a test run uh, just to so show you guys that it downloads, nothing else pops up or anything like that. I've already got Pokemon Omega Ruby downloaded, but I'll do it again and then cancel it before it finishes. So that way you guys can see no viruses or anything like that of the sort pop up. You click download and then you basically, it takes you down to these right here. You just click one of them and it instantly starts to download as you can see down here. It's gonna take a while, some of these are pretty big files, but I'm gonna go ahead and cancel for now. I also don't wanna wait however long that might take, uh, cause I gotta get this video finished for you guys. But I've already got Omega Ruby downloaded for you, and I uh, just wanted to go ahead and show you that nothing's happened to my computer. Downloads the file just fine, and uh, we'll continue from here. All right, so we will be needing Citra Nightly. I'll put the file right there. Pokey 3D randomizer, and then our files. It says it's empty, but it's not. We've got Omega Ruby right here and Pokemon Sun. But yeah, Omega Ruby is right there. So now that we've got the three things that we need, like I said, the emulator, the randomizer, and the file for the Pokemon game that you're gonna be using. Before we do the randomizer, I wanna go ahead and show you guys that this emulator itself works. Going on to the desktop. I've got my Pokemon 3DS emulators, Omega Ruby, and it'll start downloading everything to like uploading everything to run the program. And as you can see, it's working beautifully and kind of loudly right here for you. So I'm gonna go ahead and close out of this so that way we can go ahead and do the randomizer for this. Okay, so next up would be Pokey 3DS randomizer. We're gonna go ahead and open that up. I'll bring this down to the middle so we can all see it. Same as, honestly, the DS randomizer. Very similar, everything's about the same. I'm gonna go to the desktop, 3DS emulators, Omega Ruby. As Once you see the Pokemon here and everything else changes, you can see, it's also right here, Pokemon Omega Ruby. The file has been uploaded completely and it gives you multiple different tabs for multiple different things that you can change for this randomizer um, playthrough, I guess, or the settings for the randomizer. Okay, so first off, we've got the base stats. I normally don't touch this, but that's something that you guys want to go ahead and do. 
you can do that. You can also change the Pokemon types based off of randomizing it completely or evolutions. You can also randomize their abilities, allow Wonder Guard, or even ban trapping abilities, negative abilities, and bad abilities. And then lastly, you have the Pokemon Evolutions. I think this one will randomize, let's see, randomize which species each Pokemon evolves into. Okay, so I thought it randomized the ability off evolution, but no, if a Pokemon evolves, it will randomize to a completely different Pokemon in this case. So that's an option. I wouldn't touch that personally, but again, your game, your file, your decisions. You can also change uh, impossible evolutions. I always toggle this one on. You can't do trades in this game. So Pokemon like Alakazam and Gengar, which are only available via trade, can evolve in this case via level because you toggle that on. Next up will be the starters. You can do a custom, so that way you can get three different custom Pokemon that you select for them to pop up right there or you can randomize it completely. In this case, a legendary could pop up there. Um, if you want it to be a Pokemon that has evolution, two evolutions along with it, like the original trio would, you can select that as well. Personally, like the completely random option, and then we just go from there because possibility of a legendary, that's always exciting. Next up will be the static Pokemon. In this case, you can make it to where it'll swap legendaries with other legendaries and normals with normals, or you can just randomize it completely. So in this case, Groudon, when you finally go up to face him and catch him, it could actually turn out to be a Magikarp. Or, if you, like I said, if you leave it on the legendaries option, it'll make it another Pokemon that, can also, that will also be a legendary status. For example, you're playing Omega Ruby, you get Groudon, for some reason, it's a Rayquaza, or a Kyogre, or Kyogre, or anything like that. That's what this option does right here. In-game trades. This one uh, could be interesting. You know, in-game trades, whenever the NPCs want to trade with you, you can go ahead and make it to where they'll ask for a completely different Pokemon than they, than they originally do in the game, and you also receive a completely different Pokemon that they're offering in the game. Or you can just make it to where they'll still ask for the Pokemon that they want, but they'll give you something completely different. Next up will be moves and move sets. Again, I normally don't touch this. You can move these to your preferred settings. Faux Pokemon, aka Trainer Pokemon, randomize. Always randomize and make sure you toggle rival carry starter through game. So whatever Pokemon your rival selects, they will always have that Pokemon on their team as they should, as the story mode should proceed like that. You know what I'm saying? You can randomize names and classes, not important to me. You can make it to where the other trainers won't have legendaries. I think that's cheating. I don't toggle it, toggle it myself. And uh, no early wonder guard might be a good one to select as well. Next up will be the one that's honestly the most important, the wild Pokemon. And it's super simple. Click randomize. I normally don't touch this at all. If you want it to be a different random Pokemon every time, I think you can, you can select the catch them all mode. But other than that, leave it on random. You'll get random Pokemon. If you are worried you're going to get some legendaries early on, their catch rate is really low. You can select to increase that. I don't, but it's an option. I know that uh, I know some people that do it, so in that case, that is an option. I normally toggle it off, but here you go. Wild Pokemon, completely randomized, legendaries included, and uh, basically that makes the game right there. We got a couple more tabs to look through, which I will help you go through as well. But those two, the faux Pokemon and the wild Pokemon, are the most important, and also obviously also the starters. Alright, so TMs and HMs, we can randomize the ones you get in-game, and then we can also make full HM compatibility for HMs to be available for every Pokemon on your party to get through the story if needed. Move tutors, I don't really touch those. Let's move on to the next one. As for items, we can go ahead and randomize that, and then ban bad items. In this case, you can get an item that's supposed to be a potion early on, could be a master ball that could help you out tremendously obviously it could even be a star piece start off the game with 5k pokey bucks and you can buy more pokeballs or potions or anything you might need here it says special shops you can shuffle items in the shops in this one 
very interesting. You can randomize it as well and ban bad items. I'm going to leave it unchanged, but that's an option for you guys to go ahead and look through. Lastly, we've got miscellaneous uh, tweaks. In this case, fastest text. I always turn that on. The rest of these, you can go ahead. Oh, you can get the national decks at start. Interesting. But yeah, fastest text, only thing I really do. Lastly, we're just going to go ahead and click randomize, parentheses, save, select the CXI file, and we're going to name it OR for Omega Ruby, and then randomizer. Select save. It'll take a little minute to go ahead and process everything that you've done and changed for that file. But once it's done, it should be here. I'll talk about my kick. Follow me on kick. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Leave a like if I've helped you. If you actually have any questions about the randomizer or anything like that, join my Discord and I'll help you guys out. Um, I'm on there a lot of the times. Just send a message in general or send me a private message regarding any questions you might have. And I'm willing to help you guys out. I really am. I didn't think it was going to take this long to say, but I guess it is. Okay, so midway through, I did want to go ahead and actually change it to Alpha Sapphire since I already had uh, Omega Ruby done before. So I'm going to do this real quick and then go to the very end and start it over. Alright, so like I said, I did go ahead and change it to the Alpha Sapphire one. I wanted to have that one randomized since I already had Omega Ruby already done. So in this case, click yes and go ahead and get your randomization completed see details right here select done it gets unselected close that out open up citra nightly click on file and we're gonna go ahead and load where's the desktop here we go 3ds emulators alpha sapphire and we named it as randomizer we'll let that load up and then I'll go ahead and speed through all the way to the Pokemon selection. So that way you guys can see that the randomizer is working and then do it yourselves. Pokemon Alpha Sapphire. We see the beautiful Kyogre in the background. Move this a little closer and go ahead and skip through speaking to Professor Birch. All right, now that the intro is here, we're gonna go ahead and select that we are a boy name is gonna be can i type that nope can't type and our name is gonna be please sub because we are so close to youtube partner if you can please 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 subscribe if you haven't already leave a like drop a comment and all that good stuff but let's go ahead and continue uh so you're please sub yes yes i am wow oh my god it has been a while since I played this. I hear someone screaming up ahead. What should we do? I'm going to go over there. It's time to see if the randomizer is working. Pucciana, please bite him. It took forever to get to this intro, like 10 minutes. And now we go through the Pokeball to find out if the randomizer worked. And it did! Oh my god! As you can see, our randomized Pokemon are amazing. I wonder who we're going to pick. Definitely Wyvatal, Wy Barbacle, and Snivy. But hey, it is working. We've got a Legendary, which is actually perfect for this video. If this is dope, leave a comment down below. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Basically, it works. I got it working. Follow all the steps, and you will be right here where I am. Oh my god. It skipped. It changed it to a guard of wire. That looks amazing. But yeah, that's going to be it for this video, guys. Thank you so much. Like I said, if you have any problems or questions, comment down below or join my Discord and ask me personally. I will do my best to help you guys out. Also, I will be streaming all of my Pokemon videos first on Kick. Check that out. Drop a follow. And uh, give me some suggestions. Be part of the community. It would mean so much to me if you guys stopped by the streams. Um, I'm going to be on there as often as I possibly can. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Like I said, like, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if this helped you. And uh, 
that's basically it. I will catch you guys in the next video. Deuces.